All right, here's a quick little video showing how I did my stereo install on my 93 Chevy S10. Um, I did have to cut, trim this bezel off a bit. I'll show you that right now, that way you have a better look at it. But for the most part, I would say it looks like a pretty clean, almost factory install. Um, I did have to buy a kit, which is this one. And the only thing I use from that kit are these side pieces, which is this trim to kind of fill in the gap because this is my, excluding the, you know, the trim here on this side and this side, that's the width of the stereo. So there would have been a really big gap on each side of it. But let me show you, let me take off this trim real quick and that way I can show you guys how it looks like. All right, let me go ahead and show you. This is the factory bevel or the bezel or whatever this trim is for the right where the stereo goes. Now, this one is the one that I cut out. You can see I kind of notched out this uh, bottom section right here. Starting from here, I did a straight cut up to around this ridge here and I cut all the way across to this side and down to the back. And I basically did that with my Dremel. Um, now let me show you from the back. So I had to kind of, hopefully you can see that. I had to kind of cut this part out, which is all these little notched areas. See, there, that's the bottom one's the original one, and the top one's mine. So you can kind of see where I notched out. I just kind of made it to where the factory stereo or the double din stereo was going to fit in here. Now, on the stereo itself, the only thing I used from that uh, kit that I bought at Walmart was this little side anchor piece. It's got this... I uh, also had to um, cut... I think there was some, some tab or something weird sticking out from here that I notched out also. I cut that out. And this piece I basically glued on. I think um, it was something to where it would fit in here. Like it just fits on here, but it kept falling off. So I think I super glued it on to where it stayed on here. And the same thing with this side. See this one's a, you can see how it's a little bit more uh, bent. And that's just because it's not necessarily a perfect fit. You have to kind of finagle it. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. There. So, and same thing, I kind of ripped off these little tabs that were sticking out. And that way, when my stereo fits onto this, See, it's kind of it looks almost like a snug factory fit, but it's as close as I can get it. And the bottom part I did have to notch out a little bit. I probably could have done a cleaner job of it. And that's kind of all I did on the bottom was just kind of um, notch this lip here. This is what it looks like on the factory. See, same thing, it's got that little, this section, same thing like the top. So the top part, I had to cut it right around here where this line is, cut that whole piece out on the bottom one, same thing. I notched, notched it out a bit. Hopefully you can see that. I know it's kind of hard to see because my bezel is uh, black, but anyways, that's hopefully that helps you guys on the install um, on the truck itself. I didn't have to notch anything out on the back. Um, one thing you have to worry about when you have double din stereos that you're installing on the truck is the depth of it. If it's if it's too too deep, it's going to end up hitting the back. I think where the AC is or the wall. And I mean, the only other way to fit it there would be to notch that out. I didn't want to have to cut into the truck like that, so. Thankfully, this stereo fit exactly in there.
It's not a bad stereo. It's the, let's see, hopefully it'll focus. The BV9358B. And it, this one has the capability where you can watch DVDs on it. It's not the best quality, but you can, it's a decent quality. So anyways, hopefully that helps you guys. Thanks a lot for watching.